Okay, so if I want a helmet in my hair, I need to braid. I also bought a jacket. Let's use it. It feels like 20 bucks and 40 bucks. Hi, I'm a mammoth. I was just thinking about the first time that I, I went snowboarding. The first time that I saw snow was not here, it was in Big Bear. But yeah, I saw the snow for the first time when I was 24. <laughs> I'm from Brazil and Brazil doesn't snow. But when I came here, I, I went to California and doesn't snow in California. <laughs> and that's okay. Too. My husband. That was my boyfriend at the time. He invited me to go to Big Bear to snowboard. Like, I never even touched the snow. And he was inviting me to snowboard. I was super excited for sure. So I just remember that I was wearing all that crazy clothes and the heavy boot, holding the boards. I couldn't hold my board because I was too nervous. I thought I would fall walking the snows. I was not used and I was trying to walk like the moon because it's weird to walk wearing that thing and when i look forward everybody's so far from me walking so fast I'm like why are you walking so fast you're gonna fall but at the same time it was one of the most exciting days for me it was a day that i cried a lot i love sports so when my husband asked me to go snowboard i thought mm -hmm, i'm gonna show him all my sports abilities and talents because i was always good on sports i i think and i was confident i could do that but I got there and I cried. I cried. You snowboarding is so hard, so frustrating the first day. And I went to the bunny loops that I now I know that was not the best thing to do. But like they told me to go to other parts of the mountain. But I was like, no, I want to be in the beginner part. I want to be in the bunny loops. But now I see that it's kind of the hardest part of the mountain for me there's so many people there and everybody falling and then you can fall and hurt someone there's no room you cannot get speed i thought at the time i thought it was good not to get speed but it's not good actually you need to get speed so you keep your balance on board but yeah i cried i cried because if it was just me if it was me paying for me to snowboard, I think I wouldn't get that frustrated. What happened is my boyfriend at the time, husband now, he paid for me to go. And I had this thing of, I need to make uh, his money worth. Now I, I understand it's not about that. So I started to cry and I looked at him and then I was like, I'm so sorry you paid for me to stay here because I cannot even stand up in this board and the silly snow that I was loving five minutes ago. <laughs> When you fall too much, you fall too much, you fall too much, your body's like that. And then you cannot get up all the time because you're tired. You get tired from trying to stand up. And that was my problem, actually. So I just want to tell for you, if you're watching this video and you're trying snowboard, or you're going to try, the first day is really frustrating. And I thought it was something that happened to me. But after some time, I went with another friend and this friend cried. And I think she never tried again. I talked to uh, other friends of mine that they are really good at snowboarding. And I told them I love snowboard, but first day I cried. And they told me, yeah, we cried. We cried. And I started to feel like, oh my gosh, I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah, I think for me that day was like just a lot of things. But that day is, has a really special spot on my heart because it's the day that even when I was struggling, frustrated, and crying, I decided I wouldn't, I wouldn't give up. And um, my husband, he was really supportive and he was like, don't think about the money. We came to have a good time. We're gonna have a quality time, me and you, you know, to learn something you need to start. And simple like that. And there is this phase that is the hard part that you're like, oh, I'm the one that sucks in the group and everybody else is good. All right. Yeah, I thought about you make a video. <laughs> Really quick. I'm gonna shower real quick. Okay. Love you. Love too. So yeah, what I wanna tell you is just like allow yourself to make mistakes. I allow yourself to start something and I hope that you're gonna start this thing and it's just gonna you're gonna be good in the first day, like
I have my fears, but snowboarding has been a lot about facing my fears. And I try to remember the time when I'm in the mountain, about to go down. I try to remember to thank you, universe. And I'm like, thank you for this opportunity because this place is beautiful. I need to thank my body to thank you for doing your best. Yeah, it doesn't matter how good it is compared to other people, you're doing your best. So just remember to give your body some love too. I think that was the sixth, sixth, I don't know how to say that, time that I, I went snowboarding. I would do more if it was not so expensive for sure, <laughs> but it is. And now I need to go to get ready. We're leaving the house. And look how awesome. Guys, this is like a crazy technology here. I don't know how to explain. Ah, that's my husband. Let's go. I'm trying to learn how to go on my toes because I just know how to do it on my heels. Oh my gosh, that guy looks really sharp. Yeah, that's me trying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay, I just want to say I'm tired, but I'm cute. Mm -hmm. And now I can't carve, so I'm so happy. <laughs> Bye guys, and don't forget to subscribe.